so yeah now we are on to this payload creation part that we have all been waiting for so without any delay let's start so you need some tools for this to create an advanced payload you need some additional tools so let me first enter my root terminal okay so the tools that you need are apk signa zip align yeah first of all you need to install these two tools so as you can see apk signer is highlighted in blue so that means this is already installed on my system so if i enter this will show me the usage manual or the command uh, or the help manual that how to use it in case you have not installed it or it's not on your system then you just type apk signer and then hit enter and then uh, it will ask you uh, if you want to install it or not then you go with the installation process and install it this is not a very hectic process now with the zip align tool as you can see this is already installed on my system uh, the installation works the same way as the apk signer tool here so just you need to type zip align hit enter and it will ask you if you want to install it or not and then you go with the installation and all this so let me clear this now the most important tool that you require for this process is apk tool now apk tool you should not install this tool by using the command line interface okay and why i'm seeing this because as you can see my apk tool version is 2.11.1 so if you install this tool by the cli command line interface you will uh, tend to install uh, 2.9 point one wait a second you will install this version of apk tool which does not work okay that's an issue with this but uh, i have uh, experimented and i have seen that on multiple kali versions if you install apk tool using the command line interface it will install this version which does not work okay so i will show you how to install this tool uh, you need to first go to your Firefox. Okay, now just you need to type here apk tool, hit enter, and let me zoom in first. Okay, this website, the apk tool.org, that's the official website. Just click the first link or the official website link, then you need to go here, this install web install tab and scroll down and you will find the linux section here so the first thing you need to do is uh, here the installation process is uh, listed step by step so you need to follow these steps so first of all i will click on the first step as it says download the linux wrapper script okay so this gives you like something like this okay okay so just control a and control shift c here this means you need to you are copying all the all the things the control a and then you can copy from here now go to your desktop create an empty file name it as apk tool hit enter open this file control shift v here or you can just paste here okay so this is pasted now this is your apk tool file or your wrapper script just save this file as you can see uh, this icon changes so that you have done this right and now we will move on to our second step okay <clears throat> we have saved this as apk tool now you need to download the latest version of apk tool from this link as you can see here i let me zoom from this link okay just click on this link it will redirect you to this website bitbuck bitbucket.org now just wait for it to load it might take some time okay so yeah we are in now you just need to download this version this is the latest version of apk tool 
I have already downloaded it so I will not download it you you will you can just click on here and it will start the download okay now I will exit from here now the the file or the jar file that uh, you will get after download uh, would be like this apk tool 2.11.1.something.jar so you need you need to rename it to this file okay apk tool.jar file and then you need to do what is go to your go to your terminal okay now let's say i have this file apk tool and apk tool.jar file on my desktop okay so let me move on to my desktop As you can see this apk tool file is there uh, you might be wondering uh, why i'm not configuring side by side because you know i have already configured it so that's why i'm i'm not doing it i am just showing you how to do it so uh, you don't face any you know any problems while doing the process so yeah the command you can type is mv which stands for move file okay move file which files do you move do you want to move the apk tool and the apk tool dot jar file okay then these are the files that you want to move then comes the location where you want to move them so as written over here you can copy from here user local bin okay as you can see here uh, it says root needed but i'm not in my root i'm just showing you the command okay so user local and then bin okay so if you hit enter the files the apk tool and apk tool.jar file which are in your desktop will be moved to this location okay so i'm going to just backspace and i will just first of all let me enter my root terminal okay i'm in i will just move to this location Hit ls and as you can see i have already moved these files to this location so now what i need to do <coughs> i need to make sure that both these files are executable so how to make these files executable what does what do i mean by executable files and not because uh, so for example we need to access this tool from command line interface so we need to make these files executable so how to make them executable we will type chmod then plus x and then apk tool first you will do for this apk tool file and then for this apk tool.jar file and now your installation process is complete okay so you can just check whether this is complete or not by typing apk tool and if so uh, and if you find your output like this apk tool dot uh, apk tool and this version 2.11.1 and a tool for re-engineering android apk files and all this this means that you have successfully installed apk tool on your kali virtual machine now i will clear this and now we will move on to our payload creation part wait for me okay so okay so now i'm in my downloads directory and why did i change my directory to downloads that's uh, it's for a reason if i hit ls as you can see i have a flappy bird apk file here this is a legitimate flappy bird apk file you can check it by uh by uploading it to virus total <coughs> This is a very good website for testing your files if they are malicious or not. But here's a very big drawback of this file as if you upload a virus on this, it will be auto uh, the databases of the antivirus will automatically be updated as if it's encounter something new. So if I go to my downloads and upload this file, it will check the file 
and as you can see there are some security threats associated with this file it says trojan and you can see that this is uh this is detected by very few it's its detection rate is 2 out of 66 that's a very low detection rate so now we will infect it more and how to do that well it's very easy with a tool known as msa venom so first we will type msa venom and then we will specify dash x and the, what does this dash x stand for this is a base apk file that we will be using so we will be using the flappy bird apk file so i will tap this this as you can see flappy bird apk then we will specify our payload type android meter Twitter dash reverse underscore tcp and then we will specify the l host let me just see the ip of my machine okay so my public ip is oh uh, my private ip is this 192.168.1.112 let me just okay so i've already since i already used this command i will just tab it and this will be the output apk file that we will be that will that will be our payload apk so if i hit enter now it will start the creation of this payload and you will i want you to see how it will create as you can see it's creating signing key and key store decompiling the original apk Th these are the processes uh, what we uh, that's why we use apk tool and as you can see adding phone permissions you can see that boot android permission receive boot completed adding permission so it has it has uh, loaded it with a ton of permissions as you can see read phone state wallpaper write settings so these are a ton of malicious permissions that it has written it over and this is our payload size and this is the payload that we have saved so let's go to our uh, this virus total and let's upload another file and now this will be our malicious file that we have created okay let's see how much detection rate we will get okay 17 out of 46 18 out of 60 19 out of 63 19 out of 65 okay so we got a 20 out of 66 detection rate and that's a very good detection rate i will say because very few security vendors have recognized it as an malware as you can see bit defender it it goes undetected this this it goes undetected as you can see bit defender is a very good soft uh, antivirus software but it goes undetected with this then we have many many antivirus softwares microsoft malware bytes many many softwares which says this is not a virus and they have not detected it so that's a very good uh, milestone for us and why i'm saying this uh, you you should upload this uh, your virus that you made on virus total because let's say you know which antivirus that particular if you are targeting a system and you know which antivirus that particular system uses and you upload your virus on this virus total and you can see if if it's detected by this or not if it's not detected then you are good to go you can send this payload over to that system and you can infect it and gain control over it very easily and if it's detected then uh, then the attack will be you know it will be diffused that that will make no sense if you attack that system so that's a very good thing to test your viruses but it's a good and bad thing at the same time because as soon as you upload your malwares on this 
it will be sent over to the security vendors and they will be updated that this type of malicious file was not detected by you so as soon as so i have uploaded my this flappy bird apk file on this so it will be updated uh it virus total will update bit defender that you have not detected it as a virus but it's a virus it's a trojan so yeah that that's not good for us right so so this is it for today today's video i hope you like this video and i have covered all the parts of advanced payload creation for android and if you want i can even make videos on advanced payload creations for uh, like windows linux and other operating systems too so please comment on my videos and tell me which part did you like which you didn't like and like this video check out my other videos too and if you are uh, if you want to be anonymous you can uh, you know switch on your vpn and if you don't have a vpn on kali i have made a video on that too so you should check it out that so yeah now i'm ending this video at this note and we will i will meet you in the next video till then take care and bye bye